Hi and welcome to North Ants War Gamers on the Road. My name's Barry and today we're showing you one of the semi-final matches from the UK City Championships which were held at Fire and Dice in Middlesbrough. It's between Camulus on the left playing Eroticus Rainfather deck and Dominic Orange Guy Elston on the right playing Mordant Burn. In the last video we saw Dominic take full effect of the Blessing the Royal Hunt and eliminate Arkan. Can he do the same against the resilience of Rotigus? Now I must apologise, I only know Camulus by his gamer tag. If anyone knows his real name, please tell me so we can add it to the comment section below. Cheers. So for Camulus we have Blood Reaver Chieftain, Rotticus Rainfather, Chaos Champion and a second Blood Reaver Chieftain. And for Dom we have Monstrous Haunter Courtier, Monstrous Haunter Courtier, Crypt Haunter Courtier and the second Crypt Haunter Courtier. So Dom is going first. And he starts off with a tireless Crypt Flayer. First quest done for that Crypt Haunt Courtier and then draws a card. So Roticus is now engaged so he deals one damage. So, Blood Fury Wrathmonger going in. First quest done on that Blood Reaver Chieftain. Draws a card. Dom's go. Two damage with that Tyler's Crypt Flayer. So, feel the Grave Tide coming out. So, three different units from his deck has to go into the discard pile. So, most players try and um, remove the first card that one of the Blood Reaver Chieftains have simply to slow him down and um, makes him use an action with the Heroic Act to trigger his second quest instead of automatically getting it. So, the same could be said about the Krypton Courtiers for Dom when he's got a Feast in Vargeist or a Freakish Crypt Horror in play because they'll automatically complete their second quests. So, no target for the last stand trigger on that Blood Fury Wrathmonger. Dom follows up with the Murderous Vargeist doing two damage. Over to Camulus. Rotticus does one point of damage because he's engaged. So, is Camulus going to trigger that Heroic Act and get that Blood Reaver Chieftain going? <clears throat> there we go. One damage. Ping. Follows up with the Gore Slick Skull Reaper. One Ren damage. One quest left to do for the Blood Reaver Chieftain. Dom's go. Two damage from that Murderous Volgeist. Three damage from the Tireless Crypt Flayer. Second quest, uh, third quest done on that Monstrous Haunter Courtier. Freakish Crypt Horror goes into play. So first quest done. So one point of damage from Rotticus Rainfather. Gore Slick Skull Reaper does nothing. Will Camulus remove this um, Freakish Crypt Horror? Or is Dom going to get an easy second quest? So, Nurgle's Rock going into play. Completes the quest. Unrivaled Battle Lust. Big damage coming. So, spins the um, Gorslick Skull Reaper doing 5 damage. Last stand goes off doing another 2. So, very nice combo for 7 damage. We first saw that with um, when Hamish was running Rotticus Rainfather. So one damage from the murderous uh, Vargeist, one damage from the freakish Crypt Horror and completes the second quest when he gains the health as well. Frightful Strike, three damage and he's going to have to discard a card from his hand because the monstrous Crypt um, or the monstrous Haunter Courtier will, um, is, is higher costed. Sorry, can't get my words out today. <laughs> So, Rotticus is now healing because he's not engaged. Unrivaled Battle Lust spins, takes a damage from that. So, what has Camulus got? Looks like he's got a Blood Fury Rathmonger in his hand. There we go. So, five damage from that. And he takes one in return. There we go. So, 
what else? Or is he going to draw? Could ping for one with Heroic Act. So Sorcerer's Insight. So we got this from the Warband pack. So it's a bit of a casino card. If he reveals a, a unit, then he's going to deal three damage. If he reveals a spell, he's going to heal for three. Or if he reveals an ability, he will gain two cards. So it will depend on whether or not the gods want to favour him or not. So we've got a freakish crypt horror going in, completes the quest. Expansive Gur goes into play now. So Rotticus will no longer heal because all the champions are now dormant. Dom draws a card. So heals, uh, they shouldn't do that. No healing, there we go. Dom's reminded him. So rival battle lust goes round, deals one damage. Four damage from Blood Fury Wrathmonger. Takes one damage in return. Uh, so he's revealed a unit, so five damage. So he does three from Sorceress Insight and two from Unrival Battle Lust, but he didn't take one damage himself for using the Blood Fury Wrathmonger. Just got to be careful because if he gets him to uh, to five or below, then all of his um, all of Dom's champions are going to start using their abilities. Okay, so Camillus is just checking about the did he take one damage? So good lad, well done. So he was unsure, so he took it anyway. So Blood Reaver Chieftain pinging for three gets Dom down to five. So that's his first action. Second action, draw a card. Or is he going to go for it? So that Blood Reaver Chieftain at the top should have rotated because um, Camulus has actually dealt damage now. He's dealt damage twice with that Blood Blood Fury Wrathmonger. Putrid Offering goes in, so he's going to remove the Blood Fury Wrathmonger. He's going to deal uh, four damage. He's going to heal for two, and then he's going to discard that Crypt Horror. So Dom is down to one. So Dom is going to do two damage because of the Monstrous Horn to Courtiers, now below five, and he's going to heal for two, so he's up to three. One damage from the Freakish Crypt Horror, and he heals for one as well. Expanse of Gur rotates round. Slightly the wrong order, but that's fine. So, Dom might have a Vigor Necris in his hand, maybe, because he's going through his discard pile. So, Camillus is going to be doing at least three damage because he'll use his heroic act from his Blood Reaver Chieftain. So, that won't get him down. So, it will rely on Sorcerer's Insight whether or not Camillus can take this first game or whether or not he is going to draw. So, Viganet Chris, there we go. So, he's going to get a Freakish Crypt Horror, does one damage, heals one. So, Dom's now up to five. So, and then draws one. So, heals one with Roticus. Oh, no, he doesn't because he's still um, still dormant with Expanse of Gur. Takes one damage for the Unrivaled Battle Lust. So, Casino gets a unit. So, five damage. So, three damage from Sorceress Insight. Two damage from Unrivaled Battle Lust. So, that's game one. Well done, Camulus. So, Dom's got to pull it back, get himself into this game. And here we go. So, Dom has elected to go first. We have Chaos Champion, Roticus Rainfather, Blood Reaver Chieftain, and the second Blood Reaver Chieftain. So slightly different setup. But Dom's got the same. Two Monstrous Haunter Courtiers and two Crypt Haunter Courtiers. So Dom is drawing two onto Camulus. So he's going to heal one through Roticus. There we go, up to 32. So normally I would say, don't show me your cards. But when you're commentating, you're like, yep, show me what you got in your hand. 
So, Sorceress Insight worked so well for Camillus in the first game. Will it do the same? Dom's go. So, Viganet Chris, first quest done on that monstrous haunted courtier in lane two. So, whichever card he is going to discard, he's going to put into play. So, we've got a freakish crypt flyer going in, two damage. Anything laid under that um, Blood Reaver chieftain opposite is going to be put into a dormant. And then passes and draws. So, Camelus is go. Heal one through Roticus. Sorceress Insight spins. What does he draw? Three damage. He's drawn a unit. It's quite good because you get to see your top card. So, Blood Fury Wrathmonger going in. First quest done on the Blood Reaver Chieftain. Two damage to Dom, one damage to himself. Will Dom remove the Blood Fury Wrathmonger? So, Crypt Flower goes around. Two damage. Second, third quest done now on that monstrous Haunter Courtier. So, Fuel the Grave Tide comes out. So, he's going to remove the Blood Fury Wrathmonger. He's going to dump three cards into his discard pile. The three cards have to be different units. So,. Thorns of the Briar Queen, Scrabbling Horror, and a Freakish Crypt Horror. So Last Stand will trigger, but doesn't do anything. So he's trying to slow down that Blood Reaver Chieftain again by making Camulus use a heroic act. Murderous Fire Geist goes into play, two damage. So Roticus is going to heal for one. Sorceress Insight spins. Draw. So he's gained an ability, so he draws two cards. Gains the card that he um, looked at and then another one. So nice bit of card draw there. So is he going to do the Blood Reaver Chieftain? Looking at Blood Hunt. <laughs> so Blood Hunt goes in, so eliminates the uh, murderous Fargeist and heals for one. And then Heroic Act, Blood Reaver Chieftain. Pings for one damage. So just checking on uh, hand size, Dom is. So probably a frightful strike. There he is. We can see it in his hand. Oh, he's thinking about it anyway. So there we go. Frightful strike. Three damage. The monstrous haunter courtier is higher points cost than that blood reaver chieftain. So Camillus has got to put a card back into his deck. He's then going to follow up with a Mordant and then reveal the Blessing. So Dom's quite good. Um, he's in quite a good position. He's got two uh, champions that are on the um, one quest left to go to get Blessings. So depending on what Camulus does, he can pull the trigger and get something out. So Scrabbling Horror goes into play. What do we get? We get the Royal Hunt. So... He's going to do extra damage on the lane versus Roticus. It's going to increase any damage from units and abilities by three. So served him well in the last matchup versus Arkan. So should see the same versus this one. Frightful Strike, Scrabbling Horrors, Freakish Crypt Ghouls. He's got a whole host of units that hit quite will hit quite hard. So heals one with Roticus Rainfather, Sorceress Insight leaves play.
Dom is down to one card. It's quite unusual. Dom normally got a fistful of cards. Fanatical Skull Fiend going into play, one damage. So, is Camera's going to play an ability? No, he's going to draw. So, Dom's go. Scrabbling Horror is going to deal one point of damage. And then he draws for two. So, Eroticus is going to heal one. Fanatical Skull Fiend does three damage. So, quite a long way to go for both players. But, Dom, if he can get some units down on the first um, Crypt Haunt Courtier he will do a significant amount of damage thanks to the Royal Hunt so we've got Blood Fury of Ratabunga going into play two damage first quest done on that Blood Reaver Chieftain does one damage to himself in return so is Dom going to remove that Blood Fury Wrathmonger? So we've got three damage from the Scrabbling Horror. And then he's got Tireless Crypt Flare going into play. And he gets Supernatural Horror. So now he's slowed Camulus down. Can he capitalise on Royal Hunt? So normally one damage, but it goes to four damage. So here we go. So Camulus has got to be really careful. One damage done by Roticus because now he's engaged. The other units don't rotate because they're all dormant thanks to Supernatural Horror. So Dom just needs to um, draw some cards to benefit from this Royal Hunt and try and capitalise that all of um, Camillus's units are dormant. So we've got a Blood Hunt going into play. Scrabbling Horror's gone. Second quest done on Rotigus. So he had to do that. Any unit that goes on that Crypt Haunter Courtier is going to be um, do a significant amount of damage. Okay, so Camillus is drawing, so Dom's go. So two damage coming from the Tireless Crypt Flare. Dom draws. Rotkus is going to heal for one. <laughs> the fight continues. Supernatural Horror is going to be in effect for another two turns for Camulus. So normally you just just draw and wait for your cards to come. So Rejoicing Slaughter goes into play. So might see some removal to draw some cards. So Camillus is just checking with Dom about last stand abilities. Reckless Abandon goes into play. Second quest done on that Blood Reaver Chieftain. Four damage from Reckless Abandon. Gets to draw two cards. Blood Fury Wrathmonger's last stand does not trigger because he is dormant. Three damage in return from that Tireless Crypt Flare. And then there we go. So another Tireless Crypt Flare coming out. That's going to be very dangerous indeed against Rotigus. 
thanks to the um, Royal Hunt Blessing. And then a Feast in Vargas goes into play and heals for one. First quest done on the last Crypt Haunter Courtier. One damage from Rotticus Rainfather because he's now engaged. The spell can rotate, but units don't because they're still dormant for another turn. So Dom's got the advantage on the board, but he's only got one card. So if Dom gets Orb of Immortality out, then um, Camulus is going to be in some serious problems. So if Hero Strike goes into play, we get the blessing on the uh, Blood Reaver Chieftain. Unrivaled Battle Lust. So lots of damage coming potentially. Three damage from that uh, Furious Strike anyway. So next turn, we're going to shift up a gear. So we've got Insatiable Blood Reaver going into play. Does the third quest. Now, it should actually trigger its Enter ability, which is Remove a Unit. So that Fanatical Skull Fiend shouldn't be there because it's not actually dormant until it's in play. So five damage from Tireless Crypt Flayer. Thanks to um, the uh, the Blessing, the Royal Hunt. And he gains a health from Feasting Vargeist. Second quest done on that Crypt Haunter Courtier at the top. So Dom's going for it. Frightful Strike, six damage. He's not going to discard a card because he's engaged and he's higher points cost than the champion that did the ability and draws a card. So one damage from Rotticus Rainfather. Rejoicing Slaughter goes. Three damage from Insatiable Blood Reaver. And then, oh no, it's not. It's six damage from Insatiable Blood Reaver. One damage to himself. Heals two. Takes one damage from the Fanatical Skull Fiend to himself. He's on two health. So Dom will finish Camulos off next turn. So we've got Fury Strike going into play. Reveals a blessing of Outrageous Carnage. So that is going to be seven damage from Outrageous Carnage. And then we'll remove that Tireless Crypt Flayer. And then Furious Strike will do three with another three from Rival Battle Lust. So another six. So Camulus will take it. Uh, well played, Camulus. Rotigus beats Mordant Burn. We shall see Camulus in the final. So like, subscribe, and we shall see you soon. Bye-bye.